Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com. And today I am working up a cardigan. I'm working on the sleeve as you can see. And before I get too far along, I want to share with you this beautiful shoulder seaming technique. We're going to do the other side together on video, but I wanna show you just how beautiful and seamless this looks. When you're looking at it from the top side, it's hard to tell where the seam is. You can see that it's a little bit more dense in this area, but look how gorgeous that is. On the inside, we've got a little bit of a ridge here to create that shoulder seam but again that's on the inside it's going to be hidden once the cardigan is worn and it just looks so seamless and gorgeous so let's work this up or learn how to do this seaming technique together on our other shoulder so as you can see, this is the second shoulder of my cardigan and I am ready to sew up these two ends here. And this is what will go across the top of the shoulder so that our neck will be right in this opening here. I've got a long yarn tail left over from finishing this side. And I'm going to thread my yarn needle. You will need a yarn needle in order to do this seaming technique. I'm going to position my two pieces so that they are laying together and that we are looking down at the top of them. So I'm going to move my piece just a little bit and I'm going to pull the front panel down and the back panel down and line up from the outside of our shoulder right here. So I've got my yarn tail, I've got my yarn needle Got it all threaded. I have lined up my outside so that this is going to be my armhole and this is the top of my shoulder. So now in order to start this invisible shoulder seaming process, you're going to go over to the other side. I'm going to just go through that turning chain from that stitch on that other side just so that I can get a starting point on the opposite corner, just like that. So now I've got these two stitch, two sides pulled up nice towards each other. Now, the only difference between this and the mattress stitch is that the mattress stitch usually go into the top of the stitches here. So these V's along the top and you just kind of go back and forth like a threading a shoelace. This is the same thing, except for going into the top of the stitch, we're going into the front. So I'm going to find the two little, the little V's, right? There's a little V on the top of this double crochet stitch, right? I'm going to insert into that and pull it straight on through. I'm gonna make sure that this first loop here is not super big. You don't wanna pull it too tight because you don't wanna distort anything, but you definitely want it to be nice and tidy. Now I'm going to go over to the other side over here and at the top of this double crochet, you can see that there's that tiny V coming out of the top of that double crochet right there. So you can see that I'm going into the surface of the fabric instead of into the top of the fabric like I would if I was doing the traditional mattress stitch. So now I'm going to come back over to this side and find the next stitch, which is this one right here, and I'm going to go underneath the top V of that surface double crochet, or the surface of that double crochet. I'm going to go back to this side over here and go through the top portion of that stitch there, or the upper half, I suppose, of that double crochet. And that is it. I'm just going into the top or the front of the stitch instead of the top. Isn't that easy? And it creates this beautiful look. You can try this with all different kinds of crochet stitches. I will say that of the stitches that I've tried this with so far, they have all been basic crochet stitches. I have not tried this with anything fancier, um, like a bead stitch or a mini bean or anything super fancy. But again, this is just for this pattern. This is a simple double crochet cardigan that is very easy and quick to work up. And you can already see that our seam is looking beautiful right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me continue along. When you get going, you might just go through this side and you can come straight over here and go through that side and do two at once. Make sure that as you are pulling these up, you are not inadvertently skipping a stitch. I did that actually on the other side and I caught it right before I did the video. So be uh, cautious of that as well. I'm just catching the top portion of that double crochet stitch or the top half of it and just the portion that you can see from the top of the work. And for this cardigan, I'm going to seam the entire 
length all the way to this corner. This seaming technique works great for seams like shoulders or things where the nice edges of crochet are touching. Granny squares would be a great uh, method to, or a great thing to use to join this method as well. Anything where the two nice edges of crochet are butted up against each other, like a shoulder stitch like we are doing here. When you get done, I'm just going to go ahead and leave my yarn hanging out here, remove my yarn needle so that I can uh, finish with this cardigan. Now I'm going to go ahead and do all of the rest of my sleeves and do my edging and I'm going to use these yarn tails at the end from seaming up my shoulders to cinch up any holes or inconsistencies along that neck edge. But this is the seam that we just sewed together and isn't that absolutely gorgeous. You see the ridge on the inside and you see this beautiful, almost seamless shoulder on the outside. So I hope you love this invisible shoulder seaming technique, and I look forward to crocheting with you soon. Thanks for watching.